Hi, this is uh, Kyle Munson, the uh, Iowa columnist for the Des Moines Register, and I'm in Red Oak, Iowa today, and I'm here with um, a couple of folks, uh, probably a familiar face here for so many of you. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Well, I am Chuck Offenberger, the former Iowa columnist for the <laughs> Des Moines Register. I'm glad to see you here, and we appreciate you spending the day with us. And uh, I'm now from Greene County, but my heart's still in southwest Iowa, as we'll talk about here. This is my pal. I'm Erin Blumstead, and I am a Red Oak graduate, and right now I am a senior at the University of Northern Iowa. Thank you for being here today. No problem. So now this was what we saw today. We were uh, this was the first ever conference of its kind. Kind of what, what kind of a conference was this? Explain what you guys were doing here today. Well, we called it the Southwest Iowa Student Leadership Conference, but it was really a conference to put the to take a day and put the leaders, the student leaders from the high schools across Southwest Iowa together with the uh, many of the adult leaders from around the region. And we particularly, among the adults, we were particularly looking out and picking people who are really visionary about the future of the region and are, have been involved in a lot of uh, activities to uh, enhance the region. And uh, I think it was a really interesting day, a really a good learning day for everybody involved. I don't know, Erin, what did you think? And I also thought it was a really um, good day. The students, they really stepped forward and they have so many ideas and I hope it really showed the business leaders that Maybe they should ask the young people a little more for some more input and just what they want to see in their communities and especially in this region as a whole. One thing we really hammered on all day long was the accessibility of you know the adult leadership in your communities and in businesses and other enterprises mm -hmm. around us. And I think we really established that today because that, that, uh, the students seemed to be, by the end of the day, they were very at ease and asking yeah. questions and having conversations with the adults. And I. I think we really got that established, and I, I encourage the students to follow up with these uh, p people, the adults who were here as resource persons today. But this gets to my what I said was my f my favorite moment of the day. Uh, Larry Brandstetter from here in Red Oak, who's a city council member and a former teacher, was con was he was the facilitator in the session on working, you know, jobs in the future, and he was talking about the accessibility. And he was walking around waving his hands, and he said. He said, how many of you could call up your local bank president tomorrow and say, I want to come down and talk to you. Can I come down and talk to you? How many of you would get turned down? And those students, the unanimous view in that room was none of them would get turned down. They knew their bank president would take time to talk to them. And then Larry made the point, that happens here in Southwest Iowa a lot, or can happen in Southwest Iowa a lot. Isn't going to happen in downtown Omaha with the First National Bank. <laughs> so, you know, there is a... And we heard over and over in, in many different ways, a lot of high, a lot of very small high schools in Southwest Iowa, but the turnaround on that, a lot of individual attention in the classes. So that was a good point too. Yeah. It was an interesting way to look at Southwest Iowa when you had about 150 students here, 14 schools, and um, you know there was this talk about you have this community of really of 90,000 people within maybe a 50 mile radius of Red Oak, and so it's an interesting way. And maybe you know some of these students thought about this region in a different way because of that. Um, so do you do this again? What's next? I mean. Well, is I, the, um, we, we did this with the help and support of the uh, radio station KMA in Shenandoah, which I do some writing for, and uh, I do some airtime on Friday mornings with them, and I, I'm going to work with the station. We're going to see if we can do another one of these conferences, I'm sure. And we may even expand it and bring in uh, you know, student leaders from uh, southeast Nebraska and northwest Missouri, which are also part of the radio station's territory. But uh, we'll, I think we'll do it for sure again for southwest Iowa. and. Uh, uh, we're gonna also going to have, a, on the radio station's website, we're going to see if we can create a, a dialogue that can continue about among the student leaders especially to share thoughts going forward. So we'll, we'll be following up in that way. I, don't, I think we've got to come up with a better name for it than the Southwest Iowa Student Leadership Conference. I don't know what yeah. we're going to do, but we'll come up with something. That could be the first topic on the online forum, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that, yeah, that's, right. that's how to do that. That's right. All right. Hey, thanks so much, guys. Uh, congrats. Well, let me ask you one more question. Sure. You're a Southwest Iowa native yourself. Your yeah, alma mater right. was represented here today. That's You're right. Carson Macedonia grad, and that's now part of the Riverside yep. High School. What did you think? No, it was it was inspiring in a lot of ways. Like I said, um, to uh, have everybody from a you know a state uh, you know senator here to uh, business leaders, um, just I mean all the diverse backgrounds that were represented, uh, adults interacting with these students, and you know serious points like there is going to be more of this kind of rural agricultural, you know boom in some of these industries. You know as long as that continues. So, um, and I, 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 in the wrap up session, I loved how you um, you put it this way. You said. 
you know, it's a fact we have this depopulation in southwest Iowa is, um, you know, facing some challenges there, but that's an opportunity. Like, why, why, why don't you guys step up and be the ones to come here and then take advantage of that? That should probably be southwest Iowa's slogan for the next few yeah. years. <laughs> is, is every job in southwest Iowa is available now and yeah. in the next 10 years. They're all going to open up. Yeah, so it was good. Well, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you.